tell the truth. the truth. the truth. Tell the truth. Information is power. Information is power. What's up, everybody? Peace! Welcome. Welcome to Info Media Live. I'm doing this every Saturday morning and maybe some afternoons. Just depends on what the analytics tell me when I should go live. And that's something that you all should definitely dev into your analytics because your analytics will lead you to the right results. Now, this is a new channel, a young channel. It takes time to grow. Uh, it's not like my other channel. A lot of folks know me as Information Man of the Information Man Show. That's my bigger channel. And I'll be going live over there on Sundays. I'm on Roco TV, and I'm really happy to be a part of that with the BS3 Network. And this channel is a channel where I can do something a little bit more fun, not as um, polarizing, not talking about politics and race and cultural issues. This is a channel where everyone needs this type of advice. Hell, I go do my best to do my research to uh, develop knowledge for myself that I can impart on those that are watching. So this is about uh, content creation, 
live streaming. I'll be doing reviews, giving you some of the best tips and tricks about cameras, microphone. I'm using a Rode mic today. I have different microphones and I'll pop these microphones out from time to time. And I'm gonna give you a review on these mics and the best mics to use. Now, the first thing I will tell you when it comes to microphones, just as a side note here, is that if you are inside your house, your apartment, I've said this before, the best microphones to really use would be, in my opinion, a dynamic mic, which you have to speak into because a dynamic microphone cuts out all the outside noise and nuances in your apartment, your house, what have you. Now, if you're in a real legitimate studio where you have treated walls, padded walls, then a condenser mic would be a good way to go because a condenser mic will catch everything. I mean, it will pick up a mice or a rat pissing on cotton. Okay? So that's just something to uh, keep in mind as I will be doing review shows about microphones and the best ones to use and what are the best deals for the money that you can get on these, these sort of tools. As you can see, their brother is blown away right, right there. So I want to thank everybody that's coming into the chat room. I am going to shout people out. What I want to do with these live streams is sort of package them as if they are a upload. Because when people are looking for content on YouTube, in terms of content that's teaching them how to be a YouTube or content creator, they really want you to get to the point of, the, of what you're talking about. And so today... With no further ado, uh, I'm talking about today ways that you can promote your YouTube channel even when you haven't uploaded a video. So even if you say you upload videos once, two times, three times, four times a week, I recommend if you're a brand new YouTuber, you have a brand new channel, try to at least upload two, if not two to three times a week if possible or you can supplement that with live streaming. What I learned a week ago, ladies and gentlemen, is that when I live streamed just last Saturday on this channel, my views came in quicker. It's a small channel, but the views came in quicker versus the, the videos that I upload. The uploaded videos, the views come in much slower. What it tells me, and you can look in your browser of YouTube on your desktop, and YouTube will tell you, YouTube really favors live streams because really it's the algorithms, which by the way, folks, algorithms are just a short way of saying the audience, okay? It is the audience on YouTube. You make up the algorithms, those that are watching right now, it is the audience that enjoys and wants to find live streams versus uploaded videos because you wanna be able to interact with the content creator. You wanna be able to interact with folks in the chat room. You wanna get that call and response we like that. You see it on Instagram, TikTok. This is why these other social media platforms are really doing so well because people are responding to, to long form, short term, short term, uh, short term uh, content, shorter content, excuse me. And people love video content because they can interact with that. And so I'm going to give you some, 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 some tips here and I'm going to start off. Well, let me do this. Let me first do this. Let me see who we have in the chat room that has come over to bless uh, the channel this morning, which I appreciate that. We got Purple Paisley. We got Universes in the house. Vicky uh, Corner is here. Uh, we got uh, Pharaoh Love is here, which I really appreciate you being here. We got the Empress Queen, uh, Tawana, who I know very well on a YouTube street. She has a great channel. I think everybody in this chat room, you should take down some paper and pencil and write people's names down and go over to their channels and subscribe. I will be doing a video sometime soon because I've been, you know, you have, you have growth streams where people, and I know I've talked about how growth streams sometimes really don't grow your channel because people disappear from you. Either YouTube takes them away from you or they take themselves away from you. And I've had, I've experimented with this and I have a clue and I have a theory as to why people, when they subscribe to each other and they leave messages, why YouTube is taking them away. 
if you're using repetitive uh, statements over and over again, YouTube will see you as spam. They'll see you as like a fake account. Sometimes they'll take subscribers from you to, a, to see if they're real. And if they're real, they come back to you. Uh, there's a lot of weird stuff going on on YouTube. And I think some of the technical AI on YouTube is sort of broken, just as the notifications are broken. And sometimes people don't see your videos. They're not getting your notifications. And I'm going to talk about that, what I think is going on with that and how you can work around it. And part of working around it is sort of what I'm going to tell you today. So let's say you have a YouTube channel. You're a new YouTuber. Uh, let's say you load videos frequently and you just haven't loaded a video yet. You're getting ready to get ready to load your next video, but you haven't gotten to it yet. You haven't gotten to it yet. Well, you can actually promote and grow your channel even prior to you uploading a video or your next video on your channel. I'm not talking about if you don't have any content on your channel yet, if you already have some content and this is the way you got to do it. Now, everybody likes uh, these shorts, okay? And, and let me sort of go into here and uh, put this right here. Everybody likes the YouTube shorts, right? Let me put this a little bit bigger. You can see it right there. Everybody likes using the YouTube shorts, right? YouTube has um, opened this, this gateway of giving us YouTube shorts and primarily because they're competing with TikTok. TikTok has really taken a chunk of the audience away from YouTube because people really enjoy short term, short term content, short form. That's the better word for me to use. Short form content is king right now. And YouTube is trying to compete with that by giving you a YouTube short. So I guess you can go 60 minutes. You can go put up a 60 minute reel. You're saying something. And I know people are taking the YouTube shorts and they're almost emulating what they see people doing on TikTok. Now, yes, you can get a lot of views. You can get people to say, hey, that's pretty cool what you did. But I have it on good information that the best way that you should use YouTube shorts is to further not only promote your channel, but I think you need to treat it like it's a YouTube video where you research what people are looking for. What I'm finding out is that you get more response to your YouTube shorts in terms of promoting your channel if you are doing exactly what YouTube has told us. You want to research and cater to what people are interested in. So if there's a trending topic, a trending topic, then you might want to do a YouTube short that reflects that trending topic. Because even though we have shorts, it's still not TikTok where people are doing music and they're dancing and doing little funny skits. YouTube, in terms of getting traction to your channel, you want to think about what are people looking for and, may, and try to make YouTube shorts that are relevant to what people are looking for in the bigger social media sphere. So if there's a trending topic, as I said before, there's a trending dance something that's a hot dance, anything that's really hot and popping. And you can use Google Trends on your desktop or even on your phone. You can download Google Trends to your phone to find out what's going on right off, the, right off your phone. And let me just do something real quick here, folks. And there we go. All right. I'm trying to fix something real quick. Excuse me. All right. Give me about a minute, folks. Sorry for the delay. I'm trying to fix something. There we go. Now that's working. That's working. I've got so many things up here. So YouTube shorts, the recommendation is to almost think about doing YouTube shorts the way you think about creating your content. What's the audience? Create Because a lot of times... We're putting things on our YouTube shorts as well as our stories that we want to put on there. Some of us, not all of us. You still have to think about your audience first. You get more retention on the shorts and your YouTube stories when you engage 
in creating content on there that people are looking for. So if you're promoting your channel because people are looking for the content that you're doing, you need to use these YouTube shorts to promote your channel in, because the YouTube algorithms have changed. Ladies and gentlemen, this is breaking news. The algorithms, what your YouTube shorts have changed because now, like I said, people are looking for things that they're interested in, not what you're interested in. So you want to provide them that if you want to take the YouTube shorts to bring traction to your channel, I would recommend, and this depends on your channel, your niche, what you're doing. I would drop just for the very minimum, but you can go up higher. I would drop for me personally, and I'm going to be, I'm going to be doing this myself. I would drop at least two YouTube shorts a week during the week and drop at least one or two on the weekend and how this could work. Let's say you're about to go live. Why not drop a YouTube short? Because that goes through the algorithms and not only does your subscribers see it, but particular people that can discover your channel. Why not do a you a quick YouTube short and say, I'm going live today and I'm talking about this issue, folks. Boom, 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 boom. Put that out there. Bam. So this is very important again. Use these, and this would be the internal promotions. So when you look at my title, I say internal and external, you're saying, what, what is he talking about? The internal promotions is what YouTube already gives you to promote your channel. The next one I said earlier is your community tab. This is very important. Are you, using, are you utilizing your community tab appropriately and properly to further promote your channel? Because this is something that, um, I want to do more of, I think all of you should do more of, if you have about 500 subscribers, which is what you need for a community tab, you should be dropping, uh, posting things like polls. You should be polling and getting the barometer of what your audience is looking for. So maybe you should, you should say, um, what would you like my next video to be about? So throw some ideas out there to create community engagement and find out what people are um, looking for. Let's say you did a video and people did enjoy the video, but maybe you could put in a poll, what is it that I could have said that I did not say in that video? And maybe you can create a video out of that, right? Um, you can, of course, before you go live, as I always do, drop your, your content in the community post to alert people that you're going live. I know sometimes people put things in their community posts like that are not uh, in relations, just like these shorts to what their channel was about. Maybe a picture of yourself with your family. That's all nice because you want to create a human connection to you. And let me take this down. You want to create that human connection between you and your audience. But even when it comes to your community tab, you should still be dropping posts, articles, links, and things that are relevant to what your audience is looking for. So if you got a beauty channel, a cooking channel, a gaming channel, a channel related to a family channel, a political channel, for me, I do social and political and cultural issues on the first channel, the Information Man Show. So it would behoove me, and I got to do this, to drop and give people latest updates on things politically, if that's what my channel is about. So you actually can grow your channel. Excuse me. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Woo, excuse me. Excuse me there. A little bit of a sneeze, but I'm, I'm all right. Almost uh, <laughs> blew my nose like a trumpet. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. all right so what you want to do ladies and gentlemen is you want to treat the community post as another extension of your content so that you're keeping your audience engaged and you're also reminding them that you got a live stream coming up you got a interview you're interviewing someone you're reminding them of what that content is and maybe people will leave you a suggestion which they should and out of those suggestions you might want to retweak your title or retweak something because the audience is giving you feedback okay 
Another thing you should do, which further promotes your channel, is in the chat room, you see that we can pin comments to the top, right? Well, let's say you have another channel and you want to filter people to that other channel that you want them to subscribe to. It would behoove you to pin your other channel in the community tab or if you're promoting something that you want them to su support, pin that in the community tab. You can see in a community tab, I've I pinned it my um, <laughs> my cash app with no shame. <laughs> For those who would like to support the program, okay? So you need to use the internal marketing promotion strategies that YouTube already provides us and you should base the things that you post as i said before your youtube shorts and your story you should be posting things on a regular basis that are kind of related to what people are interested in what is going on that piques the interest of your audience and those that will discover you who haven't subscribed to you because you want to give people a reason to want to subscribe you when they discover you from one of these internal YouTube uh, tools that's used for you to further get your reach out there. Okay? So things that your viewers are interested in and that people who may discover you, now you're bringing traction to your channel before you've even launched your next new video live or upload. Okay, is everybody with me? Let me go in the chat room and see what people are saying. Does everybody understand what I'm saying? Is it making any kind of sense? Let me see what people are saying in here. Uh, let me see. What's going on? Hey, what's going on, my man? He says, hey, my Mr. Mr. Parker, I'm doing good. How about yourself? Okay, let me see. I'm hoping that people are uh, getting my points here. Let's see, uh, Steve Gilmore. I like this brother. He's got a great channel. Everybody make sure you subscribe to each other. Right each other. Right each other's names down this is the thing this is the thing i think the problem with the growth streams just a side just a little side statement here i think the problems with the growth streams is that we're telling people to go back to each other's channels to write something and i think when there's tons of people going to your channel subscribing and writing and writing and writing these statements i think that youtube i was going to do a video about this but i'm going to break it out now I think the YouTube algorithms are automatically seeing you as spam. I think what you should do is subscribe to people's channels, come back later and leave a comment. And I think that people should only subscribe to people's channels, in my opinion, that they know that they're going to watch that content. That's where YouTube catches us. They know that you're not really watching the content and they get rid of you. They see you as spam. Because I notice the people who rock with me who have subscribed to my channel from my first channel, they haven't been removed. It's usually when you're in these growth streams and you got people rapidly going to people's channel, the YouTube algorithms are picking it up and they see it as spam. Because they're seeing all this rapid messaging on your, and that ain't really how YouTube works. You don't get a lot of rapid messaging. And usually the messages usually are related to the content primarily. And then YouTube algorithms can tell that you've been a long-term follower of this channel, that you're not no Johnny come lately. I just think that's a theory I have of what's going on. This is a side note. I know that's not the topic today, but it's a side note. All right, let me see who else is here. We got my man, Chevy Ryder, two four. Two five four saying, "Hey, Info Media, how's it going, brother? Checking in. I'm doing fine, brother. Um, thank you for coming over. I'm definitely want to talk to people and shout people out. I kind of want to keep the stream. I want to. I want to make these live streams so it's digestible for people who will be watching it after. But I'm doing fine. I really appreciate everybody coming over. Let me see what uh, Pharaoh Love is saying. Good tips on how to to actually utilize." growth streams we have to be gen gener yeah generous genuine and watch yeah you got to be genuine and, and i noticed this already the people that have not been removed from my channel because i've seen my numbers go up and down on this i should be at 500 subs by now 
But because I you go to bed and then the subs are gone, that's simply because YouTube is removing people. And let's be honest, people are removing themselves because they have no intent to watch your content. I said that on a video that I did that it doesn't help you to have people who do this and they just leave your channel and then YouTube removes them if they see them as spam. So we got to figure out a way to be honest and subscribe to people's channels. I think personally that you should subscribe to a person's channel and when they launch their next video, then you come over and say, hey, what's up, Info Media? I think that might be a way to, to get around what the algorithms are doing. Because when you subscribe and you're not leaving messages, they don't know whether YouTube's not reading that as spam, but those messages can be read as spam. All right, let me uh, get back on to, uh, let me see, who do we have here? We got karma. We got gaming here. Hey, how you doing? Re remember me? Hey, how you doing? Hey, thank you for coming over. Let me give you all a clap. Let me give you all a clap. Now I'm hitting the wrong stuff on my board. All right. All right, let me get back to it. Hey, what's going on, my brother? What's going on? LV, the snake man. What's going on, brother? Interesting theory about this. Yeah, it's an interesting th theory about the spam because I've had a chance to look at my analytics and sit back and watch what's happening, my brother. And I do believe that it has some, like for example, LV, you know I got the other channel, Information Man Show. I didn't know that you subscribed to this channel, but guess what? YouTube, if you subscribe to this channel and you didn't like send me a message yet that you did, YouTube didn't take you away from me. But if you was to drop a message on this video today, YouTube ain't taking you away because now they do see you as a legitimate person. Because they know that people don't leave. They know that when you get subscribers, technically you don't get all these messages that all are the same messages. Oh, I'm a new friend here. I'm a new friend. I, I have, I've been guilty of writing that too. I'm a new friend here. Let's stick, let's stick, let's stick together. You keep writing that over and over and over again. You're automatically seen as spam. You're not seen as legitimate. Let me, uh, I got to get back on topic here because people need to hear more of these uh, strategies. And I think everybody back to the basics. I'm looking in the board here. Uh, let me see. Jackie's in the house. Got people coming over from the uh, from the first channel. Well, everyone, hey, checking in before I get some OT. And I hear you, sister. Make sure y'all check me out tomorrow. Uh, live stream on the Information Man show as well. Now, let's get back into this now. As I said, I said earlier that the first tip is to is your YouTube shorts. Put content on your YouTube shorts that people are interested in, that's trending, that what people are looking for, because the YouTube shorts can literally bring you subscribers to your channel without them even seeing one of your videos because they're intrigued by your YouTube short. And then it will allow them to look at your channel and say, hey, I like this, I'm subscribing. Two. All right, the two thing you, the next thing you want to do, Wheezy, what's going on, Wheezy? Good to see you, brother, again. Uh, the next thing you want to do, number two, just a summary, is YouTube community tab, posting polls, posting links, things that your audience is interested in and other people would be interested in as they're being told about your channel, okay? Now, this is another thing that I need people to do, and it may sound like, oh, we already know this. Well, there's a lot of people who have not done this on their channel. You need to put, this is a channel trailer. Put a, ch a trailer on your channel that tells people what your channel is about, what the expectations are, how often you go live, you post videos, what have you. What, it, what are you about? What is, the, what is the objective of your channel as it reflects what is in your about section of your channel that must reflect but another thing I noticed that does work and I've been experimenting with it is that what I do like this video today, the video that I have running in my trailer right now, I'm going to remove that video and put my, 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 my video prior to this video in the trailer. So every now and then, just in a nutshell to make it very simple, 
every now and then when you upload or you go live and do a live stream, you should take that live stream at some point in time and put it where you would normally put your trailer. What I've been noticing is that you get a lot of views like that too because people who come by your channel, they see the, the trailer being played and you're giving them a taste of your content right then and there. And they may end up stopping and watching it and clicking into it and giving you a like, giving you that what? Impression. So what I'm going to, what you always want to do is you want to, you want to um, freshen, a tra put a new trailer. I would say personally, put your, your second, you put your, your prior video into the trailer and put your most recent video, like I'm putting this most recent video, right now this live stream will be my most recent video. I'll keep it in that area. I'll take the last video I did and put it as a trailer. And then when I come out with another video, this video that I'm doing right now will be put into as the trailer. So you're just kind of swapping your content. And what I'm noticing is that when you do that and create and put the content in as a trailer, is gaining views and traction over time because there are people who casually find your channel go by your channel take a look click into it and give you a quick view and remember when you're using a cell phone the majority of people who use youtube are using youtube on their cell phones so that trailer is going to come up first in the thumbnail you want a thumbnail to look really really good okay so create a trailer number five of these seven steps would be posting on instagram this is what you need to do same thing like the youtube short same thing like your story on instagram you want to use instagram reels and what you want to do at least two to three times a week or two times during the week and on the weekend it depends on you but you got to do it do this is you want to upload a YouTube, a, a Reels, which is where you're still talking about what people are looking for, what's relevant, what's trending, and you can also promote your channel. If your channel fits into what's promoting, what's trending, if your channel fits into what the audience is looking for. So now you're giving them a promotion about your channel. You're also uploading a Reel saying, I'm getting ready to go live. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting ready to go live, and this is what the topic is. The YouTube Reels are seen by more people than your regular post, and the YouTube Reels have a chance to go viral, which can also bring you traction to your Instagram page. And this is the key. If you have not done this, make sure that you put a link to your channel on your Instagram page so now it gives people a chance to click into it and come over to your content when you give a Instagram reel saying, I'm going live at this time. I'm going live about this topic. I'm talking about this topic, ladies and gentlemen, that's going on in the world. For example, um, Dave Chappelle got attacked and I'm gonna be talking about this situation with Dave Chappelle, right? And then on the Instagram reel, they have it set up where you can put a tag. If you were, if this is what I would do, I would put a tag. I would put YouTube channel. I would write the name of my channel again and put the tag underneath, hide it underneath the name of your channel on the Instagram reel that you create. And then of course, Instagram reel has it set up where you can put social media logos and put a YouTube logo on there and put the subscribe logo on there as well. Now, when people see that it jumps out at them that, okay, you're on YouTube and that's the name of your channel. Let me click into your profile. So this is the fifth, this is the, this would be the external. So I gave you one, two, three, four internal YouTube promotional opportunities to bring traction to your channel. These next are going to be your external. And the Instagram reels are um, exciting. You can make them more long form. People are looking for the reels and it gains more traction. Okay. And I would recommend before you go live, do a live stream. If you can, I would recommend to make an announcement on the Instagram that you get ready to go live. So now you can bring some of the people that you have on Instagram over to your channel and I'm going to say this again for the internal promotions. I would say let people know you're getting ready to go live as well 
in your YouTube story, if you have a community tab, if you're not at 500 subs, like I don't have 500 subs on this channel yet, so therefore I couldn't post any of this kind of stuff internally until I get the, another 100 subs and then I'll be able to do all that sort of stuff. The next, uh, and let me see wh who we got here. We got Cozy. Uh, what's going on? Rest, rest to mod. Ma what's going on? Thank you for being over here. We got the House of Entertainment. <laughs> Thank you for coming over. Really appreciate you coming over. Uh, they've got a great channel. Check them out. We got uh, Point Blank Travel saying Info Media Live. What's up, brother? And much respect. Much respect to you. We have the Empress Queen. Info Man, these people losing their minds. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, um, it's, it's, it's crazy out here. Let's see. Pr uh, praying Couple cooking series make sure you check them out as well give them a clap and um i thank you for coming over uh as well as who else do we have in there let me see if i'm missing anybody we got my we got my man uh universe saying natural yeah peace to natural much respect to her so just keep this in mind it's about posting what people are looking for, posting what's hot, what's trending. It's about posting things. I'm not saying you can't post things that you like and that's fun for you, that you enjoy and your personal friends enjoy on your social media. But keep in mind, if you're really trying to drive traffic to your channel, you have to think about the audience. It's because YouTube is audience driven. Just keep that in mind. All right. YouTube is primarily a audience driven platform right audience driven is what people are looking for it's not about what you're looking for necessarily it's about understanding what people want what makes people brings people joy and laughter right it's about connecting with your community by computer or your tablet your desktop whatever it's about conveying the message that you want people to know. It's about understanding that your audience could be of many different ages. And I'm going to talk about that. That's another thing I'm going to talk about. You might have an audience that's young. You might have an audience that's uh, younger, older. And now that also gives you some insight into what you should be putting out there, depending on your audience, understanding your audience and what they're looking for as a content creator uh, it is a world of good for your channel, for what you're doing. And another thing I've been saying this before is understanding your analytics. I am going to show you some of my analytics from my first channel that I think is important for people to look at. Understanding your analytics and part of the age range of people that are watching your channel is important because it helps you to understand who you should cater and create videos for or in what type of videos you can create and don't be shy ladies and gentlemen to use your cell phones if you don't have a mirrorless camera or you don't even have maybe a webcam yet and you're broadcasting with your cell phone the cell phone will give you a beautiful picture a beautiful picture some of you are starting off with a small audience as i have too and i thank you all for being here but guess what a small audience can grow into something much bigger and much stronger and you can grow with continued consistency which will bring you to what i would call success <laughs> it can bring you to success if you just got to believe in yourself and have that right mindset as i had mentioned before so keep that in mind you've got the instagram post that's another in uh, external promotion for you now you've got this this is one thing that you need you should do and I, I i applaud you to do this if you got a facebook account create another facebook account that's adjacent to your youtube channel so basically it's you're creating a fan page or you're creating a facebook youtube page of your channel so if any of you out there haven't done this do this and i'm going to tell you why i'm going to give you some bonus information here uh posting your content on Facebook is a good thing, okay? Um, if you're gonna join a Facebook YouTube group, if you do it, I caution you this, stay away from the sub 
four sub YouTube groups. I'm going to say it again. Stay away from the sub for sub YouTube groups. Try to see if you can join a YouTube group where people are generally looking to watch the content and support one another. I am going to create a YouTube group page for everyone to be a part where we're going to get real engagement on the videos. And we're not going to hold you hostage by saying, well, you got to do this and that. I want to create a page where you should support content on that page that is of your interest. I think that's the key here to real engagement. People are going to follow channels that are providing them something of their interest. I don't suspect, I don't expect someone to follow my channel if the content is not of their interest. That's just the facts of life. That's just the truth here, ladies and gentlemen. Tell the truth. Okay, and on this channel, you better get used to this. We tell the truth over here and we shame the devil, okay? Information is power. All right. So what you wanna do on Facebook, uh, when finding legitimate Facebook groups, and posting on your, whether it be your personal page, it depends on if you want people to know your real name and all that, I get it. Some people wanna be more private. Then what you wanna do is create your own YouTube page with your channel banner, your logo, your name of your channel. And then what you wanna do is you wanna drop and post your videos on your YouTube, Facebook page. Now you could go live on your Facebook page. I'm not going live on mine today. And the reason why I'm not going live on it is because I believe when you're building a brand new channel, you do not want to divide your audience between all these different social medias. You want to build your audience up in one concentrated area like YouTube. And then as your channel begins to grow and you've got good numbers, then now you can branch out and start going live into things like Facebook. I do it on my first channel, The Information Man Show. It's been successful for me because I have built an audience over there, okay? Now, I would say post your videos on your Facebook page that you've created and check this out. Did you know that Facebook allows you to promote your videos? You can promote it daily, weekly, for a whole month, three days on the weekend and they'll charge you a dollar per day to promote your video through YouTube's or Facebook's algorithms. And you know that Facebook is national and international. So let's say I post a video on my Facebook fan page and I want to promote it to go further and push it further out. Well, I'm gonna, let's, say I, I, let's say, okay, I'm going to lunch videos on the weekend. So I'm going to promote it for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Maybe Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So that's going to cost me about $4. $4. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Just $4. If I want to promote it for a month, all you got to do is do the math. How much is going to cost you for Facebook to continue pumping and pumping and pumping and pumping your content out. But let me give you a, a, um, something to understand here. You can do this effectively when you don't have YouTube ads on your YouTube channel yet. The minute you get YouTube ads, now there's going to be a conflict of interest between YouTube as well as between Facebook. And then Facebook may not allow you. Facebook's really funny to promote it like that, but why you don't have monetization take advantage of promoting your YouTube channel through the Facebook promotional um, where you pay a fee. Set that up and promote. I used to do that. And matter of fact, it got me good traction. I was able to push my, and, and, and what it does is it will ask you what your channel is about. It will ask you what part of the world do you want to promote the Facebook so you can promote not only your Facebook, YouTube page, but you can promote the individual video. You can send it to Africa, Europe, the Philippines, America, wherever, a particular region of the world. And you pay per day, depending on how many days you want to do that promotional. So I want everybody out there to uh, be aware, because this is about telling the truth. Tell the truth. To be aware of that reality that you have at your fingertips. This is as far as Facebook is concerned. 
Okay. Oh, and another thing. Instagram allows you to do the same thing. You can actually promote your content on Instagram by paying a fee per day. So you pay whatever the amount, whether it be $5, $10, $20 for how many days and how far you want the Instagram reels and promotion of your Instagram page or your Facebook page to be. You have that ability. Now you're bringing traction to your Facebook page, traction to your Instagram page, where you can now tell people, hey, subscribe to my channel. They also discover your link. Same thing with Twitter as well. Twitter will be the next one that is another external promotion. Now, you're going to say, well, we already know about Twitter info, man. Um, why are you telling us something that we already know, man? We already know that we post. We already post um, our content to Twitter, and YouTube makes it easy for us to do that. The reason why I'm telling you this, ladies and gentlemen, is because this is where I think people are making, are making mistakes, and I'm about to do the same thing on my Twitter page. I have a Twitter page for Info Media, so make sure you subscribe to my Twitter page for Info Media. But my best example that I can show you, that I can tell you, is on my other Twitter page, which is Information Man Show. I have a trailer, the same trailer that I put on my first channel where I tell you about my content is the same trailer that I put on my Twitter post. Now, you say to yourself, well, how do we do this? You can do it this way. If you're using StreamYards, if StreamYards is the content that you're, is, is the platform that you're using to get your message out there, and where is my StreamYard? And, and once again, you've got Facebook, right? Let me go back over here. So I want to show you guys some things here. So you got, I'm talking about, I, I just talked about Facebook, right? I meant to put these up earlier. So I just talked about what Facebook can do for you. Now we're talking about what Twitter can do for you. You should put a trailer on your Twitter page, and you should also have the link to your channel on your Twitter page where people can click into the link and find your channel. You say, how do you do this? If you're using StreamYards, you can literally broadcast into your Twitter account from StreamYard. So if you're using StreamYard, you can literally broadcast into your Facebook page because you set it up to your Facebook page. You set it up to your Twitter page so you can broadcast literally live into the page. Or you can upload a video that you've already pre-produced into the pages and now you can pin it to the top of your Facebook page, right? Your Facebook page, pin it to the top of your Twitter page. And now every time someone comes to your Twitter page and discover it, now they've got a video where you're explaining what your channel is about, what you're about to do, or what your, what your content provides them. And now they're looking at that. You've got the link to your channel at the top of your Twitter page, maybe a link in the Twitter, Twitter video itself. Now people click into it and they go over to your channel, subscribe, and now that also helps your discoverability. It also helps to promote your channel. You're promoting your channel externally and you're using YouTube's tools to promote internally. This is very, 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 very important, ladies and gentlemen. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Very, 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 very important, ladies and gentlemen. So these are the tips, the seven steps to promoting and growing your channel internally and externally. Use the tools that YouTube already gives us to promote our channel and further make sure that you're promoting and you're putting out information on YouTube that people are looking for, that people are interested in. YouTube, again, is a audience. I'm going to say this again. YouTube, again, is an audience 
driven platform. Audience driven. And it's always been audience driven. It's what people are looking for, right? It's the expressions on their face, how the content makes them feel, how exciting they are about the content, how you're able to blow them away. Now, sometimes on YouTube, you get frustrated, right? And you're saying, nobody's watching the videos. I'm not getting the views that I want. What's going on? There's got to be a better way. I'm telling you, do not be frustrated. YouTube, as I have said before, and I know people are probably sick of me saying this, YouTube is not a sprint, it's a marathon. Do not judge yourself by what other people are doing, even if they're in your own niche. Judge yourself by what you're doing because you don't know what people are doing to grow their channels. You don't know what strategies they're using. You don't know how long they've been on YouTube and how they've been grinding it out to get to where they are, okay? Once again, YouTube is a marathon. It is not a sprint. You gotta keep that in mind. And most importantly, as I said before, the audience is the most important thing that you should keep in mind. People, engagement. If you want to get more engagement on your videos, you've got to make better, I'm going to say it again, you've got to make better thumbnails, thumbnails that compel people to watch, thumbnails that catch people like that. For example, this is a perfect example. Thumbnails that catches people's attention, bold capturings, proper color displacement, understanding color psychology, and how that works. When it comes to content creation, I'm going to show you something real quick. I hope everybody is doing well. We got Empress Queen is in the house. We got Jill Comfort Zone is in the house. Thank you for being here. Appreciate that. Purple Paisley's come back over. We got BBD in the house. Thank you for coming over. We got 21 people watching. I know people are coming in and out. I know it's a Saturday morning. Let me see what Tawana is saying here. She says, Info Media, have you ever did a video on naming your channel? Yes, I'm going to be doing a I'm going to be doing a uploaded video about that uh, very soon. I might drop that on Monday. Okay, I am going to talk about that. Uh, I'll just give you a little bit of insight right now. And what I'm going to do next Saturday is I'm going to do a Q&A where all I'm going to do is just take your questions and that's it about content creation and everything. I think that people need to think about when they create names, they need to think about branding, the proper branding. And when you know, when you understand proper branding, let me give you an example here. Let me go into this color uh, code thing that I have. Where, what did I do with this? Uh, there it is. Let me put this up here. If it fits, nope, put that one right there. Bam. So you notice uh, color psychology you have various companies that use these different colors. Like yellow is McDonald's. Does McDonald's have a long name? No, it's just McDonald's. It's simple. It's plain. It stays in your head. This is part of the color psychology. Yellow solicits certain things from people. And I'm going to go deeper into this into a video, but I'll just give you a summary here. You got Best Buys. Best Buys uses the color yellow and their logo is very simple. It's Best Buy. How many companies do you see using these long sentences as their name of their channel? I see a lot of people who have these super long names. It's like almost reading two sentences. <laughs> Not good. Not good at all. You want a YouTube name that stays in people's minds that they don't have to think about. If people got to think about the name of your channel, if I say, if I say info media, that's going to stay in your mind a hell of a lot longer. If I say info media live streaming today and tomorrow, you see what I mean? Too damn long. Keep it simple. I got to be honest with you. People may not like me saying this. We live in a society today where People have very a short attention spans. That's why YouTube shorts are doing well. That's why TikTok does well. People like things that are quick in and out. Green, the color green. Tropicana, they use the color green. Okay. Uh, the violet color, which is like purple. Well, Yahoo uses that sometimes. Or when you use the color red. 
You got companies like Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola. So think about when you talk about marketing your name, think about what real companies and real brands do. They make the name short and simple and sweet because they stay on the tip of people's minds. You want people to remember your channel. If I say to everybody, hey, go subscribe to Info Media Live or Info Media. You think people will remember that a lot longer than they will if I made that name damn near a sentence. I'm going to remind you again another thing that I talked about last week when it comes to thumbnails. If you look at my thumbnail, I want people to look at my thumbnails. Look at the thumbnails and the people that are in your niche who are doing it at the high level. They have a lot of subscribers, but they got they got they get a lot of views, but they're doing their content at a high level. Go to their channels and look at their thumbnails. Look at their topics. You should be playing off of those topics that they're because that's telling you automatically that's what people are looking for. You don't have to copy off of them. You can simply do similar topics, but do it even better. Do it in your own style. Look at their thumbnails. If their thumbnails are compelling, where you see uh, something that's compelling on the thumbnail, do something similar, but do it with your own style. If you look at the thumbnail, on this channel, this video today, it's a very simple thumbnail. You got my face on the thumbnail, very close up. You got uh, very recognizable items. You got a bullhorn, because I'm talking about promoting. The bullhorn represents getting the information out there, promoting, right? Then I have the little logo, the little symbol there that symbolizes what? Well, I did say how to grow in seven steps, how to grow your channel using internal and external um, promote, promotional uh, strategies, right? So what did I do? I give you a little symbol that rec recognizes that it's recognizing growth and the arrow's going up. What I've learned, and you'll hear this from some of the best YouTubers out there who talk about these kind of subject matters, is that in your thumbnail, having a bold face in the thumbnail is good and having three familiar objects, people click on thumbnails that have faces and familiar objects. You also don't, you also want to make, if you're going to put writing on your thumbnail, you want to make it complement the title of the thumbnail. And you don't want to uh, put small writing on your thumbnail. You don't want to make the thumbnail over busy. I see people all the time. They have all this writing. It's small. People can't see that. Because the majority of people are looking at YouTube on their cell phone. So your thumbnail is going to be small. So why would you not want to make bold words and captions? Make it very simple, but make it convey a message so that when people look at people have about 30 seconds or, or less to decide whether they're going to click on your video because they've got so many choices to choose from when they go on these YouTube desktops and these browsers. Okay, so keep that in mind. We got Miss uh, V is in the house. Let me give her a clap. Thank you for coming over, Miss V. And she has a, a, a big channel herself. She does it right. She knows how to do it. She, she has compelling thumbnails. She gets engagement in her audience. And check this out. If you're a person who doesn't like showing yourself on camera and you're kind of like want to stay behind camera, you can still grow a big channel. Miss V, she has that type of channel where she gets engagement, but the people are watching her channel because it's the content that she's, I think she talks about, uh, you know, what's going on over there in the UK with the royal family. I might, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, Miss V, but you get a lot of engagement from that, those sort of topics around uh, what's going on in that, in that kind of sphere. Peep, there's an audience for everything that you're doing, but you just got to package it properly. Okay, let me see. Point blank financial information, man. I had to subscribe from my second channel as well. Great information. Hey, thank you, brother. Thank you. And I'm going to subscribe back to you if I have not subscribed to you with my second channel as well. And that's another thing you should be doing, folks. If you got other channels, because this is how you can help people with their subscribership. And it also helps them to be able to find out whenever you're on. If you got multiple channels, why don't you not subscribe to people 
that you already are subscribed to with one channel, subscribe to them with all your channels. That goes for everybody out there. If you got multiple channels, subscribe to that person's channel with all of your arsenal. That way, there's a high chance that if you're in that other channel, you may not, for, you may not miss their notifications. So in summary, ladies and gentlemen, once again, utilize YouTube shorts and utilize it by putting information and content out there that people are looking for, that people are interested in, that your audience is interested in. Use the community tab, use polls and posts and links that are relate to what people are looking for and their interest in your channel and what have you and what is trending. YouTube stories, use your YouTube stories to once again, Put out there what's trending, your things about your channel, what people are looking for. And you should also use YouTube story to tell people, ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to go live right now. And the reason why is because I got to be honest with you. I got to be honest with everybody because this is about telling the truth. And uh, as you always know, I always say it's also about um, shaming the devil. <laughs> Come a little bit closer. Let me tell you a little secret. If you didn't know this, ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't know this little secret, YouTube's notifications are broken. They sent out notifications and you still got people saying, Hey, when do you go? When, when do you go live? What time do you go live? And you're telling people, wait a minute, I went live this Saturday. I went live on Sunday. I went live at this time. What do you mean you didn't get the notifications? Sir, I didn't get the notifications. That's why the way you beat the notifications is to do your own promotions prior to you going live. And then two, promoting externally to all these different places that I talked to you about and promoting internally to remind people that you're going live by using your YouTube stories using your community tab to post your next live and saying, folks, don't miss it. This is, these are the ways that you can beat the YouTube notifications that sometimes are not working. You got to figure out a way to maneuver around it if it's not working. Remind people that you're going live. And another way that you surely will beat the YouTube notifications is going live consistency, consistently on certain days at certain times so that your audience knows, oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, point Blank Travel goes live on Saturday at 6 p.m. Uh, Miss V or Tawana or Empress Queen or Joy's Comfort Zone or Phil, uh, or um, Pharaoh Love or any of the good folks in the chat room or Purple Paisley. That's right. They go live at 6 p.m. on Saturday. So I already know whether YouTube sends me a notification or not. I'm going to go over there and I know they got a show getting ready to be posted up because I can see it in my community tab and I can see that they already got it ready to go. So when you figure out a consistent day, it almost becomes repetitious that your audience is now, I don't like, I hate to use this word, but it's the truth. You've now programmed your audience to realize that you come on at this time. So even if the notifications, even if the notifications don't work, you still get a loyal number of your people who will come over. And whatever YouTube brings over with the notification is just a bonus in the cookie jar. You see what I'm saying? Before I go, I want to um, show you all something. And um, right here, this is the other channel. Oops, I think I took something off of there. Hang on, I'm going to share this. I want, to, I want y'all to know that this is real when I talk about this. This is called Color Psychology. Let me just go over this real quick. I'm not going to read the whole thing because I'm going to do a separate stream or video about this. 
Color psychology, does it affect how you feel? How colors impact the mood, feelings, and behaviors? This is very important because when you think about creating your, your thumbnails, you want to understand what people respond to. Do you feel anxiety in a yellow room? Does the color blue make you feel calm, relaxed? Artists and interior designers have long believed that colors can dramatically affect the moods and feelings and emotions and colors like free, uh, features following the change of the emotions. The artist Pablo Escobar once remarked that color is a powerful communication tool and can be used to signal action, influence, mood. That's a key word there. Color can be used to influence and signal action. So if you create a thumbnail that has certain colors that solicit certain feelings and emotions from people, I know it's going to sound crazy, folks, but it ain't crazy. Those colors and the way you create your thumbnail could ultimately cause people to be compelled to click on the video. It can actually make them want to click on your video so that once they click on your video, now it's up to you. Now it's up to you. Now it's up to you, ladies and gentlemen, to hook them in your content with creating quality content because the goal is to hook them. You hook them with the first impression, which is the thumbnail. The next impression is the damn title. Then once you got them in and you suck them in, now you want to make sure you know what the hell you're talking about and you have a good quality video because now they may say, hey, I like this video. I like what she or he is saying. I'm going to subscribe. And I mean, I'm going to subscribe like right now. Okay. That's what you want to do. This is about, ladies and gentlemen, this is about strategies and tips and telling the truth. This is what this is about. I will be talking about TubeBuddy next week. I'll be I'll probably I'll be talking about TubeBuddy. Uh, I don't know how many of you out there are using either TubeBuddy or you're using um, VidIQ. But I'm going to show you this is TubeBuddy keyword search. I am going to uh, talk about that. That's that's uh, that's VidIQ right there. And this is TubeBuddy right here. Let me take this off the screen. Both of these uh, platforms will help you build your channel. You got to use which one you think is more effective for you. But both of them basically will help you with uh, tags for your channel, help you with titles and ranking and all those different things. It's a very good service. And I'm going to do a video primarily on TubeBuddy, letting you know how to actually use, how to actually effectively use TubeBuddy. There's two things on TubeBuddy when you're doing, when you're searching for content to see if you can rank it. There's weighted and unweighted scale. The weighted scale is the scale you want to use because the weighted scales, it weighs in on the totality of your channel, your latest video views, what your channel is actually about in relations to what you are keyword searching. And I'll go over that. And as you can see, it will populate tags that look like sort of like this right here. There you go. It will help populate those tags for you. Tags are important and not the most important thing, but they still should be important because when you have a new channel, you want to engage in best practices as much as possible. Let me go back into the audience here. See what people are saying. And let me see what Empress Queen is saying here. She says, no one else would go as in-depth as info. Hey, thank you, Sister Pratt. Thank you, thank you. And I am going to be modding people up. And I think what I'm going to do right now, because I see people that rock with me that are 
what they call day ones that are rocking with me day one. So as a result of that, I've got to give a monetization to some folks. And we got uh, ADO, we got vlogs in the house. Re, re, uh, Nyla, vlogs, vlogs, thank you for being here. Danielle, thank you for being here. Appreciate it. I got another man I'm going to mod up. Um, let's see, Purple Paisley, uh, my man Point Blank Travel. I'm just modding a few people up that I know that have been uh, rocking with me pretty heavy. Your favorite couple. Yeah, I got to have some mods because you know these, uh, Purple Paisley, I'm going to mod you up. Because uh, you know these, uh, these trolls will be coming in here. As soon as they smell a new channel, they're going to be like, get over there and get that channel. Get over there and uh, put the trolls in there. Stop it. Stop what this man is uh, trying to do here. Stop it. Stop it. Stop him. Stop him immediately. You see? So now I'm getting my army together. I'm going to mod up Jill Comfort Zone as well. So hopefully everybody will see there. And I'm going to mod up my man, Universe, as well. Got to mod you up. And Karen J is in the house. Thank you for coming over as well. I'll be watching people to see. Um, yeah, everybody, when you come back in, you'll have a monetization. You're modded up. And, and that's because we know that the trolls are coming. They're going to try to come and disrupt the flow over here. We're going to stop that. So um, I think I'm going to get ready to uh, come to a conclusion. I'm, I'm going to um, mod up my man Wheezy as well because I see some folks that are rocking with me that are consistent rocking with me. And I think that you need people that are consistently rocking with me. And even if people can't come over and watch all the time, the fact that you know that people make a comment on your videos, you know that they're watching even after you've gone live. And once again, I'll be going live like this on Saturday mornings. And if I have other opportunity to go live, hell, I might even go live on Monday. I don't know. But I do know that you're going to get some content, upload something on Monday. So definitely share this video out. It's very important that people get this message, get this information. Karen, it's good to see you. She says hi in purple. Yeah, purple Paisley is great. If you have not seen this video from the beginning, I employ you to watch this video again. We're at an hour and 12 minutes, which is excellent for this video so far. I've uh, been on for an hour. This is fantastic. I think I got 30 people watching. Hey, I'll take it. It's a new channel. You know, when I started my first channel, the Information Man Show, man, I had nobody. This channel is already doing better than my first channel that I built up as of right now because I know more about YouTube than I ever did when I did the first channel. So you, I have a better advantage as to how it works. So I thank you all. You make this work. I want to give you a clap. Everybody is making this work oh my goodness who else has come in here oh flaws and stuff is in the house go on, go on sister and then we got uh vanderpool is coming in the house thank you for coming over let me see this i'm gonna give i gotta mod up some more people because i'm recognizing the heavy support the consistent support that i'm getting Peggy, I, and there's some people that's coming over from my first channel that are familiar with me, that I trust. I'm giving my man, Steven, Steve Gilmore, I'm going to give you a mod up. It's because you've been rocking with me ever since I discovered your channel and watching your content. You come over when you can. Natural obviously has to have a mod up because she's a mod on my first channel as well. And, uh... So I have to do that and flaws and stuff. I have to give you a mod up as well because you've been rocking with me for uh, you've been giving me a lot of love on your channel. And uh, this is the way this works, folks. I'm building a different audience over here. I'm, I'm building an audience where it's everybody. I don't care what race you are, creed, sex, whatever. Everybody needs to know information about building their channel. Everybody wants, we need to all rise together and not fall at all. Let's rise together. This is what this is about. Um, over here. This is not like my first channel where I get into politics and polo, polarizing topics. Now, tomorrow on the Information Man show, I'm going to go in. I'm, I'm going to be talking about Kevin Samuels. Oh, yeah. I'll be talking about that issue tomorrow. 
and I'm going to come at it from a whole different angle. But that's the, that's the channel where it gets on and popping over there with the polarizing content. Um, somebody else came in I want to give a little respect to. And that's uh, Rap Freestyle Academy. Thank you for coming over. Give you a clap. If you have not, subscribe to the channel. Do me the biggest favor. Give a man some, give, give the channel a love. And um, hit the bell notification. And you know how this works. We always say the same thing. You know, hit the bell notification. Give the channel um a little uh love and i want to put something up here real quick if i can find it give me a minute folks just bear with me as i'm trying to find something that's very important and now i can't find it i don't know what's going on but i really appreciate everybody coming over again and again and again and again and uh, let me put this on the screen right here. I talked about this before. That can enable your community tab. You only need 500 subscribers. And when you get 500 subscribers, enable that community tab. And in that community tab, I'm going to say it again. Start putting things in your community tab that engage your audience, that will also engage other people to find your channel as it relates to your community tab story. You need to be loading at least two to three times during the week YouTube shorts, YouTube stories. I got to do it too. When I get a community tab on this channel, when I get another 100 subscribers, you need to be putting out content on your reels and giving and promoting your channel on your reels and talking about what people are looking for on your reels and your YouTube shorts. And I would go as far as to even say, And this might sound like blasphemy. I would go as far as to even promote your YouTube channel on your TikTok. Oh, yeah. I'm going to clap to that. <laughs> Most definitely. On your TikTok, TikTok allows you to put your YouTube link in your TikTok page. If you haven't done that, you got to go do that. And then you can still do the stuff that you do on TikTok, all the funny stuff that you do, the entertaining stuff, yes. But every now and then, you should tell some of the audience over there that you got a YouTube channel. Every now and then, you should tell your audience on TikTok by putting up a little video and saying, I'm about to go live on my YouTube channel as well, folks. If you like what I do on TikTok, come on over and look at my long form uh, content as well. You should be doing that as well. Every little bit helps. Don't leave no opportunity to promote your channel on the table. Now, I don't know where. Oh, here we go. I want you all to subscribe to this channel right now. If you like more videos like this, then hit that bell notification, folks, and subscribe to the channel so that you can get more videos just like this. I appreciate everybody in the audience. I will be doing a video about analytics and how you should understand your analytics. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a little bit of a taste. Let me see what we have in the chat room. We got a lot of folks that have come in the chat room. I appreciate everybody. Keep dropping the knowledge is what the your favorite couple said. Yes, indeed. We got Mr. Random in the house is in the house, Peggy Roster. Um, then we've got Freestyle Academy, which I really like that name. That name is really cool. Um, that's a long name. I, let me just give you a little advice. We were talking about this. Should you have a short name? Should you have a long name? If you look at most companies, most businesses, they have very simple names because they want people not to have to think to remember their name. I'm going to be honest with you. The first thing that I keep thinking about when I see your, your name is the Freestyle, Rap Freestyle Academy. That sounds good. Now, I'm saying that because I'm not making out the, uh, I'm not pronouncing the first name, part of the name, but I'm putting Rap Freestyle Academy. Now, if I say everybody go subscribe to Freestyle Academy, that stays in your mind. 
Freestyle Academy, Rap Freestyle Academy, Rap Freestyle Academy. That cadence sounds really flowy. But that name, that Freestyle Academy is very, 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 very catchy. And I like it. You got something going on. You got something that's marketable there. Now we got Fitness Don is in the house. I'm definitely subscribing. Hey, thank you. I'm building something here. And this is, this is how I separate myself. Now, to this morning, to let you know, I'm always doing my research. I listen to Roberto Blake. He inspires me to do what I'm doing. I listen to Nick Mims. He was on this morning. He said some things that were very powerful. How I separate myself from those guys, because those guys have been doing it for a long time. They built up a large audience. How I separate myself from them is that I, I want to talk about stuff that they may not be talking about. I want to give it to you from a different perspective that they may not be able to give it to you. I'm on these YouTube streets. I talk to people on YouTube. I'm, I've got the common touch. My channel is not so big that I don't have common touch with people. I get on people's panels and talk to them about YouTube. See, I'm not unapproachable. I'm not saying that they're not, but they're huge channels. So I'm going to talk about things like why you shouldn't do a lot of silent streams. Check out that video on this channel. Why you shouldn't do silent streams. Let me remind you, everybody, again. Because I see this and I see this and I even see it from people that are subscribed to me. If you do this. If you do a silent stream over 12 hours, YouTube will not give you any watch time at all. They will archive your video and you will lose all that overnight 24 hour sensational watch time that you thought you were getting. If you're going to do a silent stream, personally, I wouldn't do a silent stream because look, look, what if I was doing a silent stream today and a few of the folks who came in like Freestyle Academy, Fitness Don came in and they didn't see anything. They didn't see anything going on, no action, no activity, just a blank screen like this. Or no, that's my camera one. <laughs> <laughs> But what if, oh, like this, this is, the, this is a better example. This is a better example right here. What if they just came into my stream and all they saw was the computer, the computer screen, the computer seat, but they don't see me on the screen talking, they see no activity, then they might be inclined not to subscribe because they don't see anything. If my channel is about YouTube's tips and strategies and they come there and they're like, okay, I'm looking for YouTube tips and strategies. <laughs> but I don't see nobody. Where is this guy who calls himself Information Man or Info Media Live? He ain't nowhere to be found. Man, I'm getting the hell out of here, okay? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Love to see you, but I don't want to be with you. Yeah, you, you got to stop that, folks. You got to stop that. Because the first, in, the, 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 the first impression is your thumbnail. The second impression is the title. The third impression is when they actually see you on the screen. They see, so if they see a cool thumbnail, but they don't see anybody but this. What in the hell are they going to subscribe to you for? Why in the hell would they want to subscribe to you? Well, what's the point? So stop doing these silent streams because you're trying to cheat the algorithms and you can't cheat the algorithms. I, I have said that uh, on several of my videos. You can't cheat the algorithm, folks. You can't do it. It won't happen. You won't be allowed to do it. The algorithm knows what you're doing. Hell, they know when we're subscribing to each other rapidly and leaving similar messages to each other. And then when we go to bed at night, and sleep rock a bye baby on the treetop <laughs> you wake up the next day and all your subscribers are gone because the algorithms are programmed to read everything that's going on so silent streams are not helping you they're only hurting you impeding your progress if you're gonna do them if you just can't stop doing them don't do them over 12 hours personally i wouldn't do them at all Another thing as a reminder, and I said this in the other video, 
if you got older videos that still have potential to still get views, I'm talking about potential to get views, you can refresh your older videos by putting brand new thumbnails on them, maybe a brand new uh, title or tweak your title, maybe tweak your tags. And if you did not put a proper description in your video from the first time you made that video, put a proper description so that the algorithms know what the hell your video is really about. And then two, next, make sure you take your name of your channel, put it in your tag box as a tag, put the name of your video in the tag box as a tag. Make sure you put the title of your video. You can look at my channel and see what I do and put it in the beginning of the description of what your video is about. This video about this video today is about YouTube promotions, YouTube strategies, seven strategies to YouTube, blah, 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 blah. Now the YouTube algorithms are cranking it up and they're knowing what you're doing. Another way you can crank up the YouTube algorithms is that if I say in the chat room, everybody in the chat room right now, put a one in the chat room. If you're able to hear what I'm saying, if what I'm saying makes any sense to you, put a one in the chat room, put a one in the chat room right now. I'm going to tell you what that's doing to the, to the algorithms when I do that call in response to you, or hopefully I get a response from you. Put a one in the chat room. I'm going to tell you what that means. Just put a one in the chat room, everybody. I'm going to tell you what that does. Thank you. So we got ones coming in. And Miss V, you know this because you got a big YouTube channel. Do you know that that's cranking the YouTube algorithms? Because the YouTube algorithm sees it as engagement. Why do you think when you end your streams, you can go into your analytics and it'll show you your chat? It'll give you an analytical breakdown of what your chat room was doing. When the, when the uh, scales go up higher and shorter, that shows you that at a certain part of your video, that's when people were talking the most, that was the most engagement. When you tell people, hey, where are you from in the country? And they put, hey, I'm from the Philippines, I'm from America, I'm from Brazil, I'm from South America, I'm from here, I'm from there, that's engagement. If you say, put a one for this, put a one for that, what do you think about this poll that I put out the other day and people were talking about that, that's creating engagement. That's creating activity. The algorithms love that and it's cranking the video out. It's saying, hey, there's something over here that's going on that's good. Let's get the signal out to more people. It's signaling to the notifications. Get it out. Get it out. And it's signaling to, to the YouTube algorithms that you got engagement going on on your channel when you do call and response. I'm giving this brother a mod up too. He's been rocking with me. That's my man, Chevy L.S. Chevron Rider 254. Check out his channel as well. <laughs> Check out Miss V. Check out my man Point Blanks Travel. Check out Miss, Mr. Random. He's been uh, 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 subscribed to my channel. I subscribe to his channel as well. And stop being afraid to say the word subscribe. The YouTube algorithms don't stop you, don't hurt you from saying, don't hurt your channel when you say that. You know why it's silly? Because how many times do you hear content creators say to you, subscribe to the channel? If the word subscribe was a bad thing to say, why is YouTube content creators always telling us that you do a call and response, subscribe to the channel? Or you do a silent one with something that pops up on the screen. It's when people spam your chat room and write repeat of repeat of messages that's what i would have a problem with don't come into the chat room repeating the same algorithm words over and over again once again folks the algorithms is a artificial intelligence that youtube has come up with basically to solicit what the audience wants you are the audience those that are listening in the chat room those that are listening from afar you are the audience it's what you respond to that YouTube will push. YouTube will push this video out based on your response to it. And if your response to it is that you liked it and you share it, now it goes out to other people and there's a response. You want to get browser search. Let me show you what I'm talking about on YouTube. You, two things that you want to grow channel is you want to get 
browser search and you want to get page search and you want to figure out in your analytics, where is most of the traffic on my channel coming from so that you can make adjustments on where you need to promote more heavily. Let me show you right here. Hopefully this is going to work out for me and nothing silly happens and trying to show you all this. And I'm going to end this as soon as I show you what I'm talking about. So let's go into this tab here. There we go. And let me share this. All right, folks. So this right here, if you can see, this is my other channel, the information man show. If you have not subscribed to that channel, go over there and subscribe. You're going to absolutely love it. I appreciate everybody here. Look at what I've got going on here. 34%. 34 point, I got about 13,000 subscribers on this channel. I got about, no, I got, actually, I just got more subscribers today over there. I got about 12,900. I'm going towards 13,000. Another 100, give me a 13,000 over there. I'm going to get it. I'm very confident about that because of the kind of content that I do over there. Now, what I'm going to do, because I want people to see this very clearly, so I'm going to pop this on the screen like this. And I want you all to see what I'm saying. So right here. Right there. This is browser search. Percentage of views from browser feature. When you get views from the browser feature, I'm getting 34.5% from my browser feature on the other channel. That means that YouTube is promoting your channel or they're promoting your video which brings you more subscribers, which is why I'm getting more subscribers over there. And it also depends on the content. If you're doing something that people want to do, want to hear about, or excited to hear about, they got to watch by no cost, by any cost they got to watch. Like tomorrow, I'll be talking about the Kevin Samuels situ situation, in which Kevin Samuels has been found to be, have passed away. I probably will get a lot of people that will come over and watch that video because that's what's trending and buzzing on YouTube. So 34.5%, that's what you want. You want browser. Now, check this out right here. 21.4% of views from the channel page. That's good. You want views coming from your channel page. Then from here, the percentage of views from YouTube search, 11.4%. 2% of people are looking for whatever I've got going on in YouTube search. Search is great, but you really want it coming from the browser and the channel page. 10.8% from views from suggested videos. That means my video has been suggested. Your video will be suggested as well if you put these principles together. 9.9% .9 of views, views from external. What does external mean? That mean that 9.9% is coming from places like Facebook, uh, other, and you actually want more of your views to come from other. So like, for example, 7.7% .7 of views are coming from Facebook, right? Things of that nature. So you want, you actually want more views to come from YouTube than actually from the external promotions because you want you to, because YouTube can better promote your video than anybody else. Why? Because the audience for your content is already on YouTube. Whereas on these social media platforms, which I still think, I still say you still need to promote, but on the, on the other platforms, you're kind of hoping and searching that people would like what you're doing. But YouTube specifically has algorithms to find your audience. Facebook, for example, doesn't have uh, necessary algorithms to find your audience. You simply got to find your audience yourself or just hope that people would be interested, but you still should promote. Okay. Now let's go into, uh, engagement. So I've got about two, 2.6K views on the Nature Boy video that I did. So the engagement on these videos are high. Watch time. These are watch time. I'm getting 2.6 thousand watch time on this video. The Subway Shooter. Look at that. These numbers show you what kind of engagement I'm getting on those videos. Most recent videos, 99.5% of people want to watch ladies and gentlemen they want to watch 
your most recent videos. That's why when you set your YouTube page up, you want to set it up where you make those little, um, what do you call it? Those playlists where you set up a caption saying that this is the most recent videos. This is my live stream videos. These are videos on these specific topics. So now someone finds your page and they may not like some stuff that you do, but they may like other things that you're doing. Let's go into the audience. I want y'all to see something right here. Let's go into, and I'm going to be talking about this right here. When your views are on YouTube, I'll be doing a video about how you should really focus on the best time to go live. So today I went live around 9 30 or so and according to my analytics 9 a.m is the best time for me to go live on saturday that's 9 a.m western time my time that also tells me where my audience is it tells me that i got a lot of audience in the east coast the west outside of the country as well tells me right here will tell you notifications how many people have hit the bell of notification 32.4 percent or more Okay, age, this is very important. This is where I want to go at. I've got about 46.1% females that are following me on the other channel, and I got about 53.9% are males. So that lets me know the demographics and the sex of people that are watching my channel so that I can make content that speaks to both these audiences, right? Age, 25, point, 25 through 34 years of age, which is 15.8% of young people between 25 and 34 are watching my content. But the biggest age is about 33.7%, 35 by 44. So now when you look at those analytics, you want to think about if I've got mostly older people watching, then I must create content in a particular niche that speaks to that age demographic. But if you see that my demographics and age are pretty much all over the place, I've got, I'm, I'm getting the spectrum here. I'm not getting 13 to 17 year olds. It's 0%. You know why? Because Kids that are 13 to seven years, 17 years old, they're not watching the stuff that I'm talking about on this particular channel. I'm talking about politics. I'm talking about cultural issues, social issues, things that are happening in the news, things that happen that can be tragic, things that happen. These kids are looking at video gaming channels. They're not worried about what I'm talking about, but when they get much older, they may begin to be interested in these type of topics that I do on this other channel. So I just want y'all to see that that you definitely need to look at your analytics, your age groups of people that are watching you because YouTube is giving you all the tools internally to understand how to create videos and promote your videos. Promote your videos like Don King. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm telling the truth. Tell the truth. So let me break out of that. Come back over here. I hope that made a little bit of sense to folks, the things that I was talking about. Let me go in the chat room before I end and greet everybody and see what people are saying. Let me go down to the very bottom here and let's see what people are uh, saying. All right. Dimps Designs. What's going on, sister? So point Blank Travel. Hey, thank you, my sister, for subscribing to the channel. I just want to give you some love there. Thank you. Make sure y'all check out her channel as well. Um, and uh, much respect to you. Much respect. Much respect. We got Universe saying definitely purple. I have to watch all the videos. I'm learning a whole lot. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I, that's what I aim to do over here. And with your support, I'm going to keep doing this. Keep doing it and keep doing it. We got uh, Brandon's Recovery TV. Thank you for coming over, sir. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have not. Make sure you watch this video again. We're at a minute and 38 sec, an hour and 38 seconds, so I'm going to be ending this pretty soon. But we got my man Wheezy in the house. Thank you for coming over. Trey Wheezy, appreciate you. We got back to the basics. She's been rocking with me from the other channel, so I'm going to hook her up with a mod because she's one of my day ones on my other channel, and she's been very... Uh, very, very much a big support uh, for me behind the scenes as well as on the scenes. We got Tawana who came over. She says, great live. I appreciate that, Tawana. I'll be doing this. Uh, I got so much. I got so much stuff. Look, folks. I got so much stuff to tell you all. I got so much stuff that I'm learning. 
So many things I'm discovering. I'm just scratching the surface right now. That's why I'll go live like this on Saturdays. I'll drop the uploaded videos to give you some gems on things. Next Saturday, when I go live, it's going to be a Q&A. That means I'm just taking your questions. I'm taking your questions, your questions only, and we're going to talk about it. We're going to work through it. We're going to elaborate. If people in the chat room know things that I may not know, then you got to spill the tea and spill the beans, and that's the truth. Don't hold on to the knowledge. Share the knowledge. Because... Um, These are the ways, these are the things you need to employ that's going to help your channel, especially when you're a little channel and you're trying to grow. A lot of people don't know you yet. I'm going to say this too, is I call, I'll call this as a bonus. Another internal promotions is doing collaborations with people. If there are people on YouTube that you're really cool with, you like their content, you trust what they're about. You need to do a collaboration because their audience can become your audience and your audience can become their audience. Do not be shy about collaborating with people. You do yourself a very bad disservice if you do not collaborate with folks because I'm going to say it again. You're, it gives you an opportunity to be introduced to a whole nother audience. Now you bring your subscribership up, your engagement up, and you bring people over who want to support what you're doing. See, what I try to do when I subscribe to people's channel is I, I know it takes a while to get to everyone's channel, but I at least try to go to their channel and give them a like, give them some type of a view, give them some type of message. I try to make my rounds as swiftly as I can. You want to give people that engagement as best as you can. Even if your engagement is for two, three, four minutes, whatever, it's better than doing nothing. I would say if you can't watch the person's video, the whole video, at least give them three to four minutes of watch time, folks. If you can't watch the whole video, give them three to four minutes. Three to four minutes. Hell, give them five if you can. <laughs> That's only if you're... You don't have time to watch the whole video. But if you do have time to watch the whole video, damn it, watch it. And everybody else should be doing the same. Oh, let me let you know another, another trick. Any of you who have a channel that is in the YouTube partnership and you got a monetized channel and you got commercials, check this out, everybody. I don't know how, I don't know, I don't know how many people are, not, are, not, are telling you this, but I'm going to tell you the truth. If the person has commercials on their channel, don't skip the commercial. Give them the money that they deserve. So when I click into your video and your commercial comes on, I let the commercial play all the way through. Then I skip to your video. You know why? By letting it play all the way through. And if you possibly click into the commercial because it's something that you're interested in, but still, if you let it play all the way through, you're, just, you're helping them to make a little bit of money. When you skip past their videos, they ain't making no money. See, I'm going to tell you things that other people ain't telling you. Tell the truth. We're going to tell you the truth over here. Let's see what uh, Miss V is saying. I I'm very happy to see Miss V over here, by the way. I have a lot of respect for her. She has a really big channel. It's, and 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 I want to tell you something, everybody. Y'all should go and check out Tawana's channel and Mrs. V's channel because they do a hell of a job of engagement with their audience. Point Blank Travel does a hell of a job with engagement on his channel with the audience. I like when he hits that little button, super chat. <laughs> Mine don't sound as good as his. Here go mine. Thank you for the super chat. Got a lady's voice, but he got that voice where he go, super chat. Thank you for the super chat. Right. Go and check out how people engage their audience, how they hold the crowd, how they keep people interested, and take some notes. Matter of fact, 
I should have told everybody when I went live today that you should take out a piece of paper and a pen and write thing, write down things I'm saying. If you have not been able to do that, go back and look at this video again and take out of it the things that are most important to you. Now, this is what's good about that. People may not know this too. And let me say hello to the lovely sister. Six Bows is back. Six Bows is back. Thank you, sister. She says, yes, that's true. Don't skip. They need you to watch to get them coins. Yeah, watch that. Let the commercial play, then go into their video. But let me, um, before I lose my trade of thought, because I got so much information, it's like overload for me. I'm going to have to slow down here and save stuff for next time. There was something else I wanted to tell you. Oh, you if you go into your analytics and you ch and you click into a video to see what your retention rate is on that video. YouTube has a graphic that shows you what everything means. And I'm going to talk about that as well. I'm going to show that graph. I should have had it today. If you've got pointy little bubbles in your retention graph where it's showing you the retention of your video the moments in your video where people start to not engage anymore where it goes up and it starts to go down if you got little pyramid shape in the video that means that people are watching the video again and going back to stuff that you said taking notes that's actually good for your channel so people so i seen a video that i did where i could see the little the little pointy line, the little pointy lines, that meant that people were coming back to certain points in the video. That's good. YouTube recognizes when people come back to your video, watch it again. When people, you may not be, get a view for them coming back, but YouTube recognizes that they keep coming back to your video and stopping in certain areas because there's certain key things that you're saying that's important to them. In the YouTube analytics, it will show you this thing that says, key moments it'll say retention and key moments you click on that and it will show you in the graph the key moments where people were coming back to watch certain parts of the video these are very important things to recognize folks on these youtube streets okay now we've got my sister here and i gotta give her a clap Diva Divine Light. What's going on? What is going on? What's going on? I'm glad to see you, see you over here. You'll be riding with me heavy, so you got to get that mod up too. Because you've been riding with me heavy from the other channel, the Information Man Show channel. And I'm going live over to tomorrow. I'll be talking about the Kevin Samuel situation. Come over to the Information Man Show tomorrow. I'll be going live at 2 p.m. Pacific time. 2.30 Pacific time. 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, 4.30 p.m. Central Time. I'm going to give you a classic tomorrow in my assessment of the whole situation. Um, you don't want to miss it. So, uh, Diva Delight, thank you for coming over and engaging. Uh, same thing with her. She has a channel where she really knows how to engage the audience and keep things going, keep things smooth. I appreciate you all. Let me go over here and read these messages. What's up? Peppy, Mr. Information. Oh, thank you, sister. Thank you. Let me see who else we got over here. I'm bad with names. Miss Fugo. Hey, what's going on? Hi, Purple. Are you part of the planner planning committee? C community planner community? All right. Nice, 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 nice. Everyone's talking to each other. Purple Paisley's in there. Uh, let me see. Brandon says, hello, Diva Divine Light. Yeah, everybody check each other's channels out. Support each other. We've got content creators in here. We have great people in here. We got Chaos Rain in the house. Let me give him some love. Chaos Rain, tell the truth. Chaos Rain, it's good to see you. Good to see you, brother. So I'm going to have to end it there. Uh, it's about one hour and 48 minutes I've been on. And I'm gonna, I, I got some things I got to do today. I got to prepare the show for tomorrow. And I got to go out here and soak up some of this nice sunshine here in California where I'm at. I really appreciate everyone coming over and supporting the channel and being a part of what we got going on over here. Point Blanks Travel, a lot of love for you as well, brother. And uh, what I want to do again is I want to give the audience a big ups again. 
Yes. yes. The audience is very important. And uh, you guys make this channel. You guys make, th you make this channel go. You make it what it is. I appreciate you. I appreciate all the love that I've been getting over here on this channel so far. When I look at the analytics on the Info Media Live channel, the analytics look great. And they look great because of you. You all in the channel making these analytics look great over here. For a small channel, I'm actually doing pretty good. And my analytics is showing engagement. All my videos are searchable. What do I mean by that? Again, let me put this up here for you guys to see. Again, I use TubeBuddy. And in TubeBuddy, you see how it says excellent 100 uh, weighted scale and that scale's going down. That's exactly what I did. When I chose this title today, I made this title searchable. So now my this video is ranked with other um, people. And what happens is, is that if people are searching for this type of stuff, they're gonna find me. They're gonna find me in the browser. They're gonna find me in the channel page. They're gonna find the channel. And what you want is you want organic um, subscribership because YouTube is pump pushing it out to people to see. And if they like the content or if they're interested in what you're talking about, if it's what they're looking for, some people are gonna subscribe. But keep this in mind, you've got people that like to watch you but they just did not subscribe to you. Let me let you know another little secret here. Let me let you know another little secret about YouTube that people may not be that familiar with. Okay? And that is this right here. Here comes another little secret. Come close to the screen. You see, what happens is, is that YouTube is serving the video up and you really want your engagement to come from YouTube even more so than the external promotions that you put out. Although you still got to do that. YouTube is serving your, you, your channel up in the browser, in the channel page. And how you want to understand how that works is understanding the analytics, what's gaining the engagement where are people watching your channel at more? Are you getting more engagement from Facebook, from Twitter? Figure out where the views are coming from the most and bring attention to that the most in your marketing. So if I'm getting a lot of attention from Facebook views, viewers coming over, I want to hit my promotions heavy on Facebook. However, YouTube really prefers to give you these views from their browser system. And the first step is to create thumbnails that engage people. You can go on your Droid phone, your Android phone, your iPhone, and you can download, download, excuse me, download app creators. Next week, as part of my QA, I'm going to load up on the screen for you to see uh, Canva. Canva. There are various websites that will help you make thumbnails right off your desktop computer. I'm also going to introduce to you websites where you can get free music that is bumping, that will get your booty moving, and you won't have to worry about spending t using YouTube's boring music selection, and you won't have to worry about a copyright like this kind of beat. Baby, go and take a shot if you want to. I'ma pull up on the spot. I'll be on my way. Know you going through a lot. Let me come through. We can chill for tonight. I'll be on my way. I'll be on my way. I'll be on my way. So all those types of, of beats and sounds are the sort of things that you can you can get going on your channel, like uh, something like I like this one. Check it out. Copyright free music. I'll be introducing all the different websites for that. Uh, 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 uh. 
Don't want to chase the number. I just want your body on the floor. All right, folks, with that said, I thank you. I will be introducing those websites where you can download that copyright music. It gives you instructions about how you use that copyright music, that copyright free music. I'm sorry, copyright free, meaning you can play this good music. You won't get any copyright strikes and you can play the music with confidence. It's catchy tunes, jamming tunes, not just boring stuff that sometimes YouTube Provides for you in their live area and it's unique music itself. So I'll be dropping that as well. And um, everybody take care. I thank you all again. I'm gonna give you a clap. Get to know each other, write each other's uh, names down um, and go to each other's channels and subscribe. If you are a mod, let me let you know what mods can do. When you have a blue ranch, all you can click anybody's avatar and you can go directly into their channel. So the mods have the ability to make sure that people have legitimate channels. So if you have not told your mods that, the mods are the only ones, along with the content creator, that can click into someone's avatar and it'll bring up, go to their channel, and you can go to their channel and see if they are a troll. So if you didn't know that, tell your mods on your channel that they have that special power. That's right. That's tell the truth. Tell the truth. Uh, Miss Corners, thank you for coming over. I appreciate you, Miss Corners, for spending time today out of your busy schedule, everybody's busy schedule today. Uh, I'm actually enjoying this, you know, because I'm not talking politics. I'm not talking something that's, you know, stressful. I'm not talking something polarizing. I'm not talking about something that separates us based on race and sex and creed and all this other religion. This is very, this is, this is why this channel I think will grow because it doesn't alienate any people. So it will grow at a very nice rate. And the content is evergreen. It will never, it's not trending content. This content on this channel is going to keep getting views next year, the year after next year, and the year after that, and on and on and on, and I can repurpose it as much as I like. And I will be doing a video on repurposing your content and how powerful when you repurpose your content into an audio podcast and many other things you can do. I'll be talking about that and telling you the sites that you can go to to utilize that ability. It's very powerful because there are people in the podcasting world who only like listening to audio content. Why don't you hit that? Why don't you get your content into that market as well? It's better to be multi-lateral in this social media game than just be one dimensional. As you grow as a channel, of course. Okay. Let me see. Oh, we got a Miss Habit over here. What's going on? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, look, look, she's been promoting the channel very heavily. She's from the Philippines. She's been promoting the channel very, um, Salama Poo. I think Salama Poo is thank you. Salama Poo to you. She's been, she's been hitting, she's been marketing the channel heavily on her channel. So everybody, when you get a chance, definitely if you're looking for uh, support on your channel, uh, subscribers, the whole nine yard, check out Miss Habit in the chat room right now. I got her name highlighted. Check her channel out. Give her a subscribership. And because she will shout you out, she will tell her audience to follow you, give you support, and they do. So I got to give her a shout out again. Salama pool to you. I may not be saying it correct. <laughs> I know it's thank you in, in, in Filipino and Tagalog language. A Salama pool. I think I'm saying it correct. I'm sorry if I'm messing that up, but thank you again. And oh, wait a minute, wait a minute now. I, I can't get out of here without giving respect to O'Shea. O'Shea, the hobbyist. He's got a great channel where he's doing, oh man, he's playing these simulation games, farming. I mean, just everything. The brother is wise. The brother is relaxing. He gives you respect when you come to his channel. Subscribe to his channel. Give him love. Give him love. Give all of you, give 
each other love. And now, Mrs. Reviews. Let me put her on the screen right there. This sister right here, give her a clap. Hello to everyone, she says. I would like you to give her subscribership as well. Now, I'm going to be honest with you because not everybody's going to say this. I think you should subscribe to people's channels that you genuinely believe you're going to watch their content or at least make an effort to watch their content when you can, depending on the fact that you're watching a lot of other content and making your own content. I want you to subscribe to her channel. Miss Reviews. Check her out. Give her love. Bell of notification. Hit the bell of notification. I'm going to say it again. Hit the bell of notification. And always check these channels because I'm going to give you another secret. You know that YouTube unsubscribes you from people. So every now and then you should go back to their channel and hit it again to make sure that you are subscribed. That's another little thing that the YouTube algorithms are broken on when they unsubscribe legitimate people. There's something wrong. This sister right here, Queen Empress Queen, subscribe to her channel. Miss Frugal, subscribe to her channel. Subscribe to the Empress Queen. Subscribe to uh, Back to the Basics. Subscribe to Sister Vanderpool. Subscribe to her channel. Now, what are you waiting for? <laughs> we got another person here who I'm glad to see here. We got trailer in for three girl 82 what's going on thank you for coming over subscribe to the channel be a part of the family brandon recovery tv check them out subscribe give them love all right point blank travel tell the truth give them tell support the oh i cannot forget feral love feral love has been rocking with me and I do mean rocking with me heavily. Did I give you a mod up? You should have a mod up. Empress Queen should have a mod up. I don't know why. I thought I modded you up and something happened. I'm sorry about that, sister. Uh, I thought I modded you up and something went wrong there. But now you've got the mod. You, you, you're modded up. Empress Queen, you're modded up now. I don't know why. You're probably wondering, why didn't he mod me up? I've been rocking with him. You've been rocking with me. I did mod you up. I don't know what happened, but you'll see it in there. Yeah, you can put people channels in there, uh, but this is, a, this is what I'm going to say. See, I believe in being an honest broker. I think the way we should be doing things on YouTube is we should be telling people, go to people's channels. If you like what you see and it's something that you think you're going to watch, subscribe. See, because I'd rather have people that's going to actually watch the videos than have people who are just my inventory, but they don't watch the videos. That doesn't help you. See, what people need to understand is that there's room for everybody to grow on YouTube. There's room for everyone to win on YouTube. Live streaming is only going to get better, bigger, stronger, and faster. So you're already in the game right now. So work on improving what you're doing so that when the things get bigger and better and stronger, you'll be already in the loop while other people are on the outside looking in saying, I wish I would have started a YouTube channel. Now I got to start from scratch, but you won't be starting from scratch because you'll be one step ahead of them because you were in the game now. I want to thank you all for being here. Peace to you all. Um, I'll come on. I'm coming on on Saturdays like this in the morning. I'll be putting uploads on. So when you see people leaving messages in the title, in the in the comment section of this video or any of my videos that you might have noticed that were in here today, you can just simply click into their channel with your mouse or whatever you're using, your finger on your phone, and you can subscribe to their channel. Give them love. Give them support. Everybody take care. I'm going to get ready to mosey on out of here. Peace.
Peace to everybody. Peace. Peace to everybody. Good to see you over here, X. Thank you for coming over. Saying yo. listening to Information Man. Please make sure to subscribe to his channel.